Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Aimstone channel. Today, Bitcoin is pumping. As of the time of this recording, BTC is wiggling in mid $27,000. In just early in the beginning of the day, it was at around $26,000. So technically, Bitcoin is up by more than 5% on the day. Of course, I will give you the reason why Bitcoin is pumping so hard. The main reason is, of course, Grayscale Bitcoin Trust won lawsuit against SEC. I will talk about that in just a minute. But before I do that, let's take a look at some technicals. We can also notice that Bitcoin is about to break about 50 days simple moving average in this 18 hourly BTC chart. Of course, it is quite bullish in a short period of time. In fact, most importantly, Bitcoin breaks about 200 weeks moving average one more time. Breaking 200 weeks moving average is definitely one of the most bullish indicators that you can find looking at the Bitcoin market. Yes, 200 weeks moving average is at mid $27,000 and right now we are at around $27,000. As well of course this is indeed quite bullish in fact if we zoom out a bit and take a look at this daily bitcoin chart we can notice that bitcoin broke below 200 weeks moving average number of times especially bitcoin spat entire bear market in 2022 below 200 weeks moving average and then yes in the beginning of 2023 it retested 200 weeks moving average and then it literally broke through it and then as we can see that in june it broke below 200 weeks moving average once again but when the rumor starts to come out that blackrock applied for bitcoin spot etf ptc broke about 200 weeks moving average one more time and skyrocketed all the way to about thirty one thousand dollars and now here we are again we are about to break 200 weeks moving average and hopefully continue to go higher Look, if you zoom out a bit, we can notice that 200 weeks moving average is definitely a very important level. In fact, I believe this is the most important moving average that you can find in the Bitcoin market. And it's very rare where Bitcoin breaks below 200 weeks moving average. But when it does, you know what to do. This is actually a perfect time to stack more sets. In fact, where BTC bounced back from 200 weeks moving average back in 2015, BTC literally skyrocketed. We can see something similar back in 2019 and then Corona crash and only not too long ago in 2022 bear market. So yes guys, we are definitely in the right place. Speaking of the Bitcoin fear grid index, today BTC still remains in fear, it is at 39. However, we can see that this works with the lag. This fear grid index did not price in what just happened. It did not price in this huge news that literally Grayscale Bitcoin Trust won a lawsuit against SEC. Yes, it seems like it was updated at midnight. And yes, at midnight, BTC was still wiggling at around $26,000. But now, we can definitely see that optimism is kicking in. Okay, guys, so here is the breaking news. Grayscale wins court case to convert GPTC into the first spot Bitcoin TF in the United States. Of course, I do not think this is going to be first because I do not think Grayscale will be the one who will be first in line to convert its closed end fund into spot Bitcoin ETF. So here is actually an interesting article. Grayscale wins SEC lawsuit. Let's take a look. Crypto asset manager Grayscale Bitcoin Trust on short GPTC has scored a major victory against SEC Commission in its effort to convert its over-the-counter GPTC application into a listed Bitcoin ETF. According to August 29 court filing, U.S. Court of Appeal Circuit Judge Naomi Rao ordered the Grayscale petition for the review be granted for the SEC's order to deny GPTC listing application to be vacated. Previously, Judge Rao said that SEC did not offer any explanation as to why Grayscale was in the wrong. It seems like SEC as a huge regulatory watchdog abuses its power. And here is actually a real documentation from the court. The deny of the Grayscale proposal was arbitrary and capricious because the commission failed to explain its different treatment of its similar products. We therefore grant Grayscale petition and vacate the order. 
So look guys, this is huge. This is the huge first step towards the approval of Bitcoin Spot ETF in the United States. And of course, when Bitcoin Spot ETF will be approved in the United States, it will be huge for the Bitcoin price. Imagine one day you waking up in the morning, checking your phone, and BTC skyrocketed from $30,000 all the way to $60,000. That's exactly what we should anticipate after Bitcoin Spot ETF in the United States will be approved. In fact, this is what GPTC Grayscale Bitcoin Trust currently looks like. It literally skyrocketed by almost 20% in the day. It went up from $17 per share all the way to about $20 a share. In fact, if we ignore that peak in July, we can technically say that right now GPTC makes new 15 months high. Last time GPTC has been wiggling around $20 a share was back in May 2022. So yes, this is exciting for this trusted fund. In fact, if we can compare GPTC versus Bitcoin, we can also notice that in a short period of time, it looks like GPTC is actually outperforming Bitcoin. GPTC bottom in late 2022 at around $7 a share, and now it's over $20 a share. So it's technically generated slightly less than 3x, and yet BTC went up from $16,000 all the way to about $30,000, and now we are below $28,000. So technically, BTC did not even generate 2x to this current price. However, Let's not forget that GPTC literally dipped by 90% in the previous bear market. It literally collapsed from $55 a share all the way to $7 a share, while BTC dipped from $69,000 to below $16,000. So technically, BTC dipped by 77% while GPTC dropped by 90%. So yes, of course, it looks like GPTC might be outperforming in the bull market while Bitcoin is outperforms in the bear market. That being said, you may ask a big question. What should I buy, GPTC or Bitcoin? Of course, my answer would be hands down buy Bitcoin because you do not carry third parties liability like GPTC does. Especially if you can place BTC in a cold storage, you know how cold storage works, of course you should buy Bitcoin hands down. However, if you are a bit clumsy and you're scared of the cold storage, then maybe you should get GPTC. Okay guys, look at this. This is Gary Gessler at this current moment when he heard that the court rules in the favor of Grayscale. Yes, Gary Gessler right now is panicking. He's losing lawsuits left and right. Yes, he lost a lawsuit against Ripple XRP and now they are losing lawsuit against Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Okay guys, look at this. Potential Bitcoin spot ETF could be approved in just few days. As I indicated yesterday, in September 1st, only few days away from today, Bitwise will be first in line to get a shot for Bitcoin spot ETF application approval. And then the next day, September 2nd, we have BlackRock. So look, it seems like, yes, SEC lost a lawsuit against Grayscale, so maybe they won't want to approve Grayscale Bitcoin spot ETF, so maybe they will do Bitwise or BlackRock first, which is just few days away. This is huge guys, at the same time, is very exciting. If we take a look at the cryptocurrency market overall, we can notice that Bitcoin is up by almost 5% on the day and 5% on the week. And yes, there are some outperformance compared to BTC. It looks like Shedcoin BNB is up by 4.8% on the day and 10% on the week. Slightly outperforms Bitcoin. But at the same time, let's not forget that Shedcoin BNB literally generate like two to three years new low. So there is that. And we also have Dogecoin outperforms BTC on the day as well as on the week. However, Bitcoin outperforms everything else. So this is why you should hold majority of your portfolio in Bitcoin. And yes, I would not recommend speculating on shitcoins. Okay guys, let's move on take a look at some interesting Bitcoin charts. This first chart represents the number of addresses holding at least 0.01 BTC in their addresses. And of course, the number of addresses holding at least 1% of BTC makes new all-time high. More than 12.3 million addresses holding right now 0.01 BTC. 0.01 BTC, of course, is not a lot of money. Currently, it will be slightly below $280. But look, you gotta get what you can afford. And of course, Bitcoin adoption continues to grow. 
another quite interesting chart from Willy Wu. Of course, on the top we have a logarithmic Bitcoin price action and on the bottom weekly Bollinger Band width, which is I'm not so familiar with this indicator. But anyway, every time this metric hits this level, it actually represents that the bull market is just around the corner. Look what happened in 2012. Then BTC literally skyrocketed. The same story played out in 2016 and now it looks like we are at the same level. So yes guys, I don't know how many times I have to repeat myself that we have to get prepared for the upcoming bull market. Okay guys, now let's take a look at this quick video where Preston Pitch explains why he believes BTC can generate 100% every single year. Let's take a look. If I buy into this idea that Bitcoin's going to keep going up by like 100% a year, which I do, I buy into that idea. You and because, me both. Because I know the debasement rate that the rest of the planet fiat currencies are going to go through. That's why I, I think it's going to go up relative to those currencies, right? But what I think a lot of people just for, for whatever reason can't wrap their head around is the entire planet's expenses are denominated in those fiat currencies. They can't afford when their disposable income, if they even have any, right? Which, what percent do you think that is, Scott, that actually one. has disposable income? One, one, one percent. percent. <laughs> if I had Let's to guess, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I mean, say, optimistically five, I would call it one. I agree with you, but let's just say it's 10% of, if you lined up 100 global citizens on off the street and you lined up 100 of them, 10 of them are actually even making money they can save. The other 90 literally have less money the next day and the day after that because they're not, they have no disposable income. So we're going to then go to those 90 people and we're going to say, you need to be saving in this thing that has 70% annual volatility or more relative to the local currency that you got to pay all your bills in, right? Like nobody with half a brain is going to say, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to convert this, this money that I got to pay all these bills in that I'm losing every single month into something that's more volatile and introduce more pain into my life by owning it. Right. They're never going to do it. And so when you look at El Salvador and, and we would look at that specific country, how much, how, what people actually have disposable income down there to be using this more volatile currency for payments. If they have any disposable income, they want to save in the thing that's that's going up by 100% relative to their local currency and not spend it, right? It's that simple. I've, I've said in other interviews, Bitcoin is for net producers. If you can actually make some type of in excess of your work, and you want to save it, you want to save it in Bitcoin, right? Because you can already pay your bills, right? At the end of the month with whatever you're retaining in local fiat to pay those expenses. You're not out there spending that stuff. So going back to like my point on, you know, El Salvador is a perfect demo that once we get far enough down this path where people are now getting their bills denominated in Bitcoin, because it's because it's starting to take over because it's so obvious it's not a hundred percent debasement rate relative to Bitcoin it's now five hundred percent or a thousand percent on an annualized basis because that's where this is all going whether people like that or not right or don't want to believe it I don't care whether you believe it that's where we're going so Preston Peach believes that Bitcoin can appreciate the value one hundred percent per annum I do not think anybody can comprehend what does that even means. Let me explain you the power of compounding. Power of compounding, according to Albert Einstein, is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it, use it. He who doesn't, pays it. So yes, guys. So what does that mean when BTC appreciates 100% per annum? It means that you double in your money every single year. But on contrast, let's say that index funds such as S&P 500 generates 10% per annum. It means that you can double your money every seven years. 
but let's say that we can pick and choose any stock that generates 20% per annum. If it generates 20% per annum, you can double your money every 3.5 years. The rule of 72 says that if your ROI is 10%, you basically take 72 divided by 10 and you will get 7 years. If your ROI is 20, you take 72 divided by 20 and you will get 3.5. So you guys get the math. Anyway, we can see that Bitcoin is by far the best outperforming asset out there and most likely it will continue to be that asset. Let me know what you guys think about Bitcoin and can it generate 100% here into the future. Comment below, subscribe and like this video.